Yesterday, a federal judge ruled that Lindsey Graham cannot continue to hide from the special grand jury that has been impaneled in Fulton County, Georgia. And he will in fact have to comply with the subpoena and go and testify about what he knew. Here is what U.S. District Judge Lee Martin May had to say about Graham's attempt to dismiss the subpoena against him. The court finds that there are considerable areas of potential grand jury inquiry falling outside the speech or debate clauses protections. That was what Lindsey Graham, well, one of his defenses, like, hey, speech or debate clause, I'm kind of allowed to do whatever the hell it is I want to do. Judge says, no. <laughs> Next point. Additionally, sovereign immunity fails to shield Senator Graham from testifying before the special purposes grand jury. Finally, though Senator Graham argues that he is exempt from testifying as a high ranking government official, the court finds that the district attorney has shown extraordinary circumstances and a special need for Senator Graham's testimony on issues relating to alleged attempts to influence or disrupt the lawful administration of Georgia's 2022 elections. To which Lindsey Graham replied and said, this is ridiculous. This weaponization of the law needs to stop. So I will use the courts. We will go as far as we need to go and do whatever needs to be done to make sure that people like me can do their jobs without fear of some county prosecutor coming after you. Yeah, but I'm going to have to go ahead and tell you the same thing I've told all of the other Trump people that have lashed out at the judges and the prosecutors. And that is, that's a really dumb thing to do. It's never good. And I feel like, God, I've said this a million times to antagonize the people who control your fate right? The people who could basically make determinations as to whether or not you need to become an actual target in this investigation, like Rudy Giuliani found out he was yesterday too, or if you're just a material witness, or if maybe your testimony is not even that important and they're going to drop the subpoena. But when you piss them off, when you come out there and refer to somebody like Fannie Willis as just this little county prosecutor, yeah, you can pretty much guarantee that they're probably going to go after you even harder now. And why don't you go and ask any one of Donald Trump's other allies how well that's worked out for them? Because the answer for literally every single one of them is not good. Even Trump himself, right? You know, antagonizing Letitia James up there in New York, the attorney general, he still ended up having to go and testify. Now, granted, he pleaded the, for the fifth amendment 440 times, so you know, he didn't really testify to a whole heck of a lot. He still didn't, by the way, hit as many times as his little son, Eric did a couple years ago. Eric had to plead the fifth 500 times. Donald only had to do it 440, but it is what it is. And Lindsey Graham is going to fight this. He's going to appeal it. Probably going to go to the Supreme court. God only knows what those lunatics are going to do with it. But here's the thing that just pisses me off so much about all of this. I know, I know y'all are tired of this too, but I am about as sick and tired as humanly possible of all of these people acting like the laws, the rules, things don't apply to them because that is exactly how Lindsey Graham is acting right now. You know, that is what he tried to claim when getting this subpoena, uh, uh rejected or thrown out, dismissed is the word. I lost it for a moment there. Like, Oh, it doesn't apply to me. Oh, I'm a sitting lawmaker. I can do whatever I want. I'm allowed to break the law, speech and debate, sovereign immunity. Uh, I'm an elected official. They literally think the law doesn't apply to them. They think they can break it whenever they feel like it and then say, ah, you can't do anything about it. I'm a special guy. I'm mommy's special little boy. The, these people have lived such privileged lives that they do genuinely believe they can break the law and face no repercussions from it. And in this particular instance, nobody's even actually accusing Lindsey Graham of breaking the law. Nobody, at least not yet. All they're saying is you were a material witness to this. Come on down and tell us what you saw. Tell us what you heard. That's it. And he's fighting it tooth and nail. And you got to imagine if he's fighting this hard to not have to tell them what he knows then he probably knows something pretty bad about what Trump and his allies did in Georgia. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, 
not be so grumpy.